Hey guys, you should have already created your thumbnail sketches and the next step is going to be to create your thaumatrope. So the first thing you need to do is fold your nine by 12 piece of paper in half and then you're going to trace your circle on it. You can trace it right in the middle or shift it over to one side, it really doesn't matter. You can't fit two on this, so like I said, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna hold it steady, trace around. You guys know how to do this. No need to press too hard on your pencil. Remember, this is a tracer, so you wanna keep that just in case you mess up on these, that way you can use it on your next piece of paper. And go ahead and very carefully cut on your pencil line. You wanna to try to cut all the pencil mark off, but keep it as smooth of a circle as possible. Now, I will show you a trick, like I always showed my elementary students on how to make that pencil mark disappear just in case you guys don't think of it. All right, so now before you guys glue this together, don't get ahead of yourselves, you want to draw your design. So here are my two, and this one that had the pencil mark on it, I'm gonna flip that over. That is now gonna be the back. It's gonna get glued to the middle of this one so it will be non-existent, okay? So you're going to draw your design on one and two. Okay, now you do have the front and back of these just in case you really do mess up, you can flip them over. This one, I would have to go back and erase the pencil mark. Okay, so nice and slow, draw out your designs and then we'll glue them together and assemble. For my design, I'm just creating a simple word art, kind of like you saw Mr. Wizard do. I just don't have quite enough time to sit and draw a picture. Yours, of course, will be well visualized and colored in fully. After I have erased the letters I don't need, I'm tracing them in Sharpie so that I can see them better. You can feel free to trace any element you want in Sharpie as well before or after you color. After I have finished my drawings, I'm going to glue the two pieces together. Be sure to go around the edges and then do a little in the middle. Before you glue them, make sure you flip one upside down and then really press and make sure they're well attached. I would give it a few moments before you move on to the next part just so that glue sets up a little bit better. What you're gonna do is use your ruler to guide yourself to the middle of your circle because you want to make the holes right across from each other in the exact kind of middle. You can measure, your circles are about five and a half inches. Here I'm using scissors to do the poke because I couldn't find my hole punch at my house. If you're in class with me, I will give you a hole punch to use. At home though, I want you just to use scissors. So it's a little bit rougher, but just do your best. Now you're going to poke the elastic band through the hole. Here you can see I'm struggling a little bit. The hole wasn't big enough. So I go back with my scissors and make the hole a little bit bigger. Then the rubber band is much easier to go in. So you're going to loop one end of the rubber band through the gap just like you see there and that way it creates a nice attachment do not pull too tight because you'll rip right through your paper and we don't want that so there's no exact tying these can come off and go back on easy as that once you have those attached you're going to be spinning your thaumatrope and see how your animation works. The first method you see here is I'm kind of just twisting both strings, it's very choppy, it's just not really working, and the reason that is is because it's it wants to twist back and forth in opposite directions. So in the second technique, what you're going to do is take your hands and spin, so holding the ends of the rubber bands and spin it all around, and then you're going to let it release and kind of tug on your hands apart from each other and it will spin much better. Now I'm going to show you a second option that's a possible way to build your thaumatrope and perhaps make it spin a little better. It just depends what materials you have on hand. So here you can see I've finished up a more detailed design of a volleyball and I want it to look like it's spinning. So now I need to make the second one. To make the tracing part a little easier, I'm going to download the app Soft Box Color. This is only available for iPad. You can, of course, still use a window or a um, storm door if you have it, and that might be easier for you. Please make sure you're thinking about how you're coloring these in. That's something that you should be working on for a while. If you have markers, use them to add a bit of bold color. You have the black Sharpie from me. 
think about where a bold outline, black outline, may be useful. Here I'm making my black lines on the volleyball just a little thicker. The second option to make it spin is if you have a wooden skewer at home or toothpicks. The skewer will actually work a little bit better because you don't have to align them and it's a little thicker and sturdier in order to spin again and again. So I'm going to use the skewer, but again, the toothpicks work just fine. So I'm just going to align it in the middle after I've glued it and then press them down and then cut any extra and then I'm ready to spin. Please make sure you give it a few moments for your glue to dry, otherwise your stick will shift.